Disclaimer, before this video begins, everything I'm about to say is all my opinion and it's not giving advice to harm or help any future or current relationships that you have at the moment. It's just things that I've been thinking about that may help guide you to your understanding of college. Remember that. Let's begin. Hey guys, it's Alyssa and welcome to Alyssa Explains It All, where I explain things about SUNY Oswego and college in general. College is that time in your life when you're discovering who you are and what you want to do long term with yourself. So you may choose to change things about yourself for the better and little things here and there so you can learn how to grow and turn yourself into the person that you want to be or you can keep things the same so that you are very comfortable with who you are and you just want to try to keep some things in your life exactly the way they were when you enter college. One of the things that pops up into people's lives is definitely relationships. Romantic relationships is what this video is going to be talking about. Now this is all opinion based like I said. I've never been in a relationship. I've been single for 22 years, but it's fine. I like being single. It just means that I am a very good observer at other people's relationships. My friends have come to me for relationship advice to help them when they're down or when they're up. Even they tell me exciting things and it's just nice to like sit back and just watch it all happen and you also learn from people. This video will not have to do with sexual orientation or your gender assignment or whoever you're attracted to. It's just focusing on the aspect of romantic relationships in themselves. In my time at college, I've noticed there's different types of relationships. No duh. But I meant like relationships in the sense of how long term they are, how you meet each other, where you meet each other, and what happens when after you break up. Let's start with the first type, which actually has two mini types that branch off of it. There is the relationship that you have with someone while you're in high school and now you have graduated and you're moving on to college. The first mini type of this type of high school relationship is if you and your significant other are going to the same college. This can really make or break your relationship because you may start to realize that this person who you're with isn't the same person that they were when you left high school. They may want to branch out and try different things, meet new people, hang out with more friends, and then you realize they may not have enough time to spend with you and to reminisce things with you. Or it could be the exact opposite, where you want to try to go off and do new things and your significant other is holding you back. This can cause you two to break up. The other mini type of the high school romance when you graduate is if you and your significant other graduate high school and go on to two different colleges that are even long distance or close together or maybe they go to community college and you move them far away or the opposite. So long distance relationships become a thing. We have social media, we have Skype, we have texting, we have transportation systems that allow each other to visit each other on weekends. We also have the breaks where you come home and you see each other in person, but sometimes, again, while you're in two different places that are far away from each other, you start to realize who you are and that might change your communication between each other. If they're not having fun at college and you are, they might try to hold you back so that they can have like something to hold on to while they're in college having a miserable time. Now these both relationships can actually end pretty well. I mean, they don't have to end at all. I know some people who are still dating people that they graduated high school with and they went to the same college. And I know people who graduated with their boyfriend or girlfriend and they're still dating to their senior year and they had a long distance relationship and saw each other every like chance that they could. So it's really up to how you perceive this life step. The other type of relationship is meeting someone, obviously, while you're here at college and making a relationship with them. Now this can go into meeting them, maybe they are in the same major, so you have similar classes. Maybe you're in the same club or organization, so you go and you see each other at all the meetings and then you start dating. Or they may live in the same residence hall as you, whether it's on a different floor or maybe right across the hall. This is where a lot of, you know, relationships come out of, where you see someone every day and you're like, I like them, they have a cool attitude and they like me and I have a cool attitude, we should get together. It's also sometimes really bad when you have to break up with one another because again, you see each other every single day in close proximity. So let's say you're dating the guy that's down the hall and then you break up and now you see him every time you leave your room and your roommate tells you that he keeps walking by your room and looking in and you might be like, uh, 
what do I do now? There's also when you go to class and you were dating or pre-dating before you even knew you were in the same class, a guy in your class, and then you used to sit together and you used to do all your projects together and now you're broken up. I had a professor tell the class once that she knows when couples break up because one day they'll be sitting next to each other for weeks and weeks and weeks and then the next day one guy's sitting on the bottom and the other girl's sitting at the top and they're not talking to each other when they walk in at the same exact time. There's also when you're in a club and organization and you get to know someone, they have the same personality as you. But if you're working close with someone, it not only affects you, but it affects the work environment in itself. Don't make it awkward for you and for everybody else that you're working with. Just don't do it. The other thing about relationships is that some people who are single or go from being in a long-term relationship in college to single start to have this mentality of not ever dating anyone ever again or anyone at all. There may be some nights where you're sitting in your room and your roommate's boyfriend's over and you're sitting there and you're like, I've never been in a relationship or I will never find love again and I'm just gonna be single forever and I'm gonna be forever alone and all I'll have is my pizza and my Netflix. Don't let that happen and if you wanna go on those dating sites or dating apps or just randomly meet people places that's fine too if that's what you want to do but remember to stay safe and think about all the consequences that might come out of that relationships can be a positive and a negative to have in college you may be more stressed out if you're in a relationship versus you aren't or being in a relationship is great because you're with someone that you really love and you're balancing your life with them and they make you happy and that's all that really matters if you're happy no matter who they are where they came from or where they are at the moment as long as you're happy and they're happy, everything is good, am I right? You're awesome, I'm awesome, and thank you for watching this video. And if you want to, you can hit that subscribe button. It lets you know when I post more or less explains it all. If you have any questions, comments, or video ideas, you can always hit me up at listless15 on Twitter, and I will be sure to answer any questions. And if I can't answer it, I will find a way to answer it for you no matter what. All right, see you guys around. My shirt has a T-Rex, and then it says T-Rex. It's so punny, I love it. <laughs>